Let's look at the stock of the day, which is my Magellan Financial Group. Now, this is uh, really interesting because Magellan has appointed former Janice Henderson co-chief executive, Andrew Formica, as its chairman, and it works through turning around the company. So they're basically looking to turn around following a 57% drop in full year profits. And in today's results, funds under management dropped to 39 spot 7 billion as of June 30, compared to 61 spot 3 billion a year ago. Its management and performance fee revenue also tumbled as a result of this decline in FUM. However, it has declared a dividend of almost 40 cents per share and a special dividend of 30 cents. And CEO David George said, we have made a solid start to implementing our five-year strategy and have laid a foundation that can return us to growth in time. Investment ideas are being brought forward earlier and priorities more efficiently. He is stepping down from his additional role as Magellan's chief investment officer in what the board described as a return to its former business as usual structure. So Magellan, stock is up strongly today. Is this the turnaround story that I think UBS from memory have been calling for a while now? So Henry, share your thoughts on this one. Is it just a lot of short covering or is this the turnaround? Uh, hi, Danielle. Uh, well, I guess there is a certain amount of short covering. It is a ginormous move today. 18% uh, higher. Uh, there's only around uh, 6.9 million shares shorted, about 3.8%. I think the significant thing for Magellan, apart from the special dividend, and who doesn't love a special dividend? Let's face it, that's uh, always good. The, the yield, therefore, does give, make it quite attractive. And I guess they are on the right track. Now, the important thing for Magellan is that the performance of the funds is good. The big thing about funds management is you've got to get your wiggly line of performance above the market wiggly line of performance. And once you do that, and you do that consistently, that will attract money. And to attract money, you need to have a marketing machine behind you to attract that money. Now, there is no doubt that the Magellan marketing machine over the years has been pretty impressive, to say the least. In the rock star days of Hamish uh, Douglas, of course, uh, it was cranked into overdrive. And as a result, we saw funds under management 100, 110 billion at one stage. Of course, that is now uh, we are in a shadow of its former self, 39 odd billion. But the important thing is the performance is improving. The management seems to be on top of things. Special dividends. Now, before we get carried away with this, uh, because we have seen uh, a lot of volatility in the market recently with these results and some results, they get a big spike on the result and then they fall away afterwards. So it'll just be interesting to see how we react on Monday, but certainly this is a much better result from Magellan. Andrew Formica uh, coming on board as well. He's quite well respected in the industry. So that is a positive as well as the chair. And uh, as I say, it is all about funds performance. Once you get that going and you can crank up the marketing machine, you can get funds under management up. And also, there's the potential for m and activity, which uh, they did allude to as well today. So uh, an interesting result, a much better set of numbers, I think, in terms of that performance number. And uh, there's undoubtedly a bit of short covering, but um, looks all right. OK, when they're talking about um, m and them being the acquirers, I assume, rather than somebody yeah. coming to gobble them up. Yeah, there's quite a lot of activity in well, the space both. at the moment. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously potential for both. I mean, it's not just, I, I guess when you're talking about uh, funds management businesses and mergers and acquisitions, they do tend to be friendly because the assets that you're buying is the IP of the people who work there. So if a, an aggressor came along for Magellan and uh, they weren't happy with who was buying them, then obviously the, the talent walks out the door. Similarly, if Magellan are looking at other companies to buy that talent can walk as well so it's important to do if you're doing a deal uh, to do some sort of merger or some sort of tie-up we have seen a bit of that going on at the moment so but culture and uh, egos comes into play a lot with these sorts of fund management mergers and acquisitions well, they do indeed so does that make it a buy for you henry 
Uh, probably not up here. Um, it's run 20% nearly today, so that's probably a little bit ritzy for my liking. If it came back on uh, next week, and we've seen this with some of the stocks that have performed pretty well on results, if it came back 5 6 7%, uh, back down maybe to uh, sort of 950, 980, then I'd probably look at it. Okay, so a hold for today, basically, slash a buy on uh, weakness, or do you want to buy on weakness? Um, I, well, 11 bucks, it's nearly today. I, I think if I held them and I'd been a long-suffering shareholder, I might be tempted to take a little bit of money off the table with this run uh, and try and look to buy them back uh, around okay. a dollar. So I'm going to well, change that to a sell? Uh, <laughs> everything's price dependent, Danny. I'd say it's a, I know, it's a, but it's your job to give me something that I can write down. <laughs> I've, I've just told you what I think. Uh, All it's right. up here, I'd be taking profits and at, ten, at uh, under 10 bucks, I'd probably be accumulating. Okay. Ever the broker, hey, Henry, cover all bases, but nevertheless. No, that's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> emphatic, isn't it? Sell here, buy back a dollar lower. How it, about that? There, fair enough. Okay, Luke, what do you think of Magellan? Um, it's, it's an interesting result. I mean, when I looked at the results and, and you look at the response from the market, um, it, it's hard to sort of put two and two together. I mean, the results are at best good enough. They, they certainly not, you know, shooting the lights out, um, especially with the, the comparison to prior years. But we knew this was coming. And it's probably what surprises me is Magellan is an incredibly simple business. It's, you know, FUM um, multiplied by a management fee. You know, you have a rough estimate of what you think performance fees might be, but given markets, you know, that was always going to be relatively small and, and it was in this result. Um, the commentary has been the cost base has sort of been looked at and stabilised. So I don't think the actual numbers themselves were too much of a surprise. I think what it is is the signal from Magellan the chairman um, of a few different things. One, the special dividend. Two, the stepping down off the investment committee and appointing um, the new chair. Those signals to me, it's Magellan saying to the market, we think we're through this, you know, um, this phase of, of turnaround and, and, and the, the, the dramatic changes that we had to make. We're now in that phase where, and you've seen in the thumb too, thumb sort of bottomed out the last couple of months. So we're now in that phase of we can get back to hopefully a growth trajectory if markets play nice. Um, looking at the, at the business itself, one thing I think it's overlooked uh, a little bit when you look at the business at face value, um, they have a lot of investments on the balance sheet. You know, nearly a billion dollars in in um, in uh, cash investments in their own funds, and then also the stake in Baron Joey and FinClear, which again, some commentary in this result that I don't think they would do a fire sale for those assets, but I, I think um, you know, new board and management probably view them as non-core. They were you know investments made in a yesteryear, the heyday of Magellan. Um, so I, I think you would hold it here. I, I know 20% is a, is a big move, and I agree with Henry. On these numbers themselves, you probably say it's a bit too much, and you could you probably can sit back if you're on the sidelines, sit back, and, and you know you probably can pick it up a bit cheaper as it as it just drips back a little bit. Um, but it's not expensive, particularly if you if you sort of subtract that that you know roughly billion dollars of of assets um, off their market cap. Um, one thing to note though is that this is a run rate business in the sense of. Um, you know, you look at the profit number of 175 million, 100 of that was in the first half, 75 in the second mm -hmm. half. And even as they exit this second half, they've got the lower thumb than what they had to begin with by about 13%. So that profit's going to come down again next year, but that's in the price and, and you've seen it by that reaction today. So I think it's a hold for me and, and it, it's certainly not expensive. Uh, the big question, as Henry said, is that squiggly line of the performance and the thumb as well, which you get monthly. So just you know keep tracking that thumb, which is obviously what the market will be focused on. But if you see that stabilising and, and maybe even starting to rise, I think you'll see Magellan continue to do quite well. So I think it's a pretty easy hold. Indeed, and if you hold it, you get that nice chunky dividend, well, with the special dividend as well. Okay.